And on the topic of youth, I'd like to welcome two girls who are already change makers and leaders and who are already inspiring so many. They are Talia Zdemer and Rebecca Yakogian, and they'll be welcoming our friends from Costa Rica, Maria Soli Rivera and Gilda Maria Somoza. be the first girl in science speaking at the first International Day of Women and Girls in Science. Günaydın. My name is Talia Özdemir. I am from Turkey and I live in Istanbul. I was honored to give the Girls in Science vision at the second commemoration of our day, the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. The number of girls... <laughs> The, the number of girls attending and participating in this forum is increasing every year. My friend Rebecca and I will be co-chairing the first Girls in Science panel in United Nations history. Tomorrow, Rebecca and I will present you the outcome of our panel. Ladies and gentlemen, this year, the Girls in Science vision will be delivered to you by our friends who came all the way from Costa Rica. Gilda Maria Darkeen Samosa and Maria Jose Sales Rivera, students at a professional and technical high school located in San Jose. Their major is computer networks. Maria Jose's major interests are mechatronics, astronautics, computer science, and nanotechnology. Gilda Maria would like to pursue a career in artificial intelligence, astronomy, renewable energy, and computer security. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our friends Maria Rivera and Gilda Maria Somoza. Good morning, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure and honor to be here with you today. My name is Maria Jose Soli Rivera. I am 17 years old and I'm from Costa Rica. Today, I want to be the voice of girls in science and technology. For a long time, we have fought for gender equality and we have achieved things, but still there is so much to do. Women are strong. We are the key players to achieve sustainable developments in peace. However, we still have to shout louder for the world to listen to us. When I was little, I did not fit with the rest of my friends. They played at being mom and I at being scientist. They dreamed about being princesses and my, in instead, my biggest dream is was to go into space. There are many girls with great potential who want to make a difference, but the world ignores their clamor. I have faith that the governments, businesses, and others will continue to make effort to step up for gender equality and gender empowerment. We want a better world where there is sustainable peace. But peace is not only stop wars caused by money or territory. It's not just stop using weapons. Peace is making everyone feel equal and give them the same rights and the same opportunities. If you are walking on the street and there is a girl who comes to ask you for help, who many will really help her? We don't know if the next great scientist or astronaut is going to be that girl who can not study what she wants because the stereotypes stop her. Tell me, where is peace there? Science and technology are words of weight. Weight that we can perfectly carry and highlight. We are women and we are strong. We are women and we are powerful. We are women and we are unique. We are women and we like science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We are women and we fight for what we want and dream. We are women and we're not going to stop. Who dares to stop us? 
Thank you for listening to my humble words. I come from a small country, but where the strength of women are great. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and your excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hilda, I'm from Costa Rica. Today, we are gathered not only to celebrate the International Day of Women and, si and Girls in Science and Technology. We are also here to remember that we still have the duty to continue fighting for the gender equality. We are fighting for a human right which is provide the same development opportunities to every person, regardless of gender, creed, age, social status, and geographic location. We still have a long way to go in order to achieve development, development and harmony in the nation of our planet. Despite the efforts made by government, foundations, and organizations, and communities, we must work harder to achieve the goal five of the agenda sustainable development goals. When gender equality exists, we are eliminating barriers and cultural and social prejudices, which, allow, which allows girls and boys to pursue their, their professional aspirations and personal as well, but also the, those of the planet to maintain the integrity of the natural resources, because this depends on women and men as much as men to be conscious of the social and environmental responsibility. So we need to improve, we need to improve the education for providing a better uh, cognitive, um, cognitive, a cognitive, um, it's, sorry. Okay. You, especially youngers in science like me, must see yourselves as owners, drivers, and beneficiaries of the sustainable development goals of the 2030 agenda. If we empower, we can achieve great things and generate significant impact to change the world for our current and future generations. The equal participation of women and girls in science allows the development of our society, helps decreasing poverty and education increases. From my perspective, I believe that science is a way to develop human ingenuity, to create, to discover and solve problems in order to improve the, the quality of life for humanity. Because the greater the gender equality, the more advances the more advanced the country is. Through the reasonable use of science and technology, we can unite as a planet for the progress for all and all. We are one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Talia, Zdemir, Rebecca Jacosian, and of course, Maria Jose Soli Rivera and Gilda Maria Joaquin Somoza for coming from Costa Rica.